Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we just looked at uh, future contracts as a way of minimising foreign exchange risk. Well, this is another way, using the money market hedge. And we use this to minimise the future exchange rate risk for either a foreign payment or a foreign receipt. And the idea is, is that we, even though it's a future payment or a future receipt, we're going to take the exchange rate now. We're going to take the spot rate now. So... I'm looking at a payment at the moment. Let's say that we have to make a payment of $100 in 12 months' time. Okay, $100 in 12 months' time. So that's 12 months' time. And here it is now. Okay, and then what we do is we say, okay, that's now. And then we go back into the future again. And we have always foreign, <coughs> excuse me, we have always foreign here. And we have always home here. And the reason why I'm giving you this diagram is, A, students love it. It works really well for these questions. But also, it's used for payment and receipts. Okay, so we're going to be using the same diagram. Now, let's say that, uh, that yeah, we're a UK company then. Um, we are going to, we're going to have to pay in a year's time $100. Now, what I need to do, I don't have $100 is the idea. Because I want to make the, I want to make the exchange now, but I don't have the money now. Okay, so I'm going to have to borrow some money, all right? Uh, so I'm going to have to borrow some dollars. Now, the question is, how many dollars do I need to borrow? And the answer is not $100, because I'm going to borrow some money now, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the dollar deposit account. And then let it build up to 100. Because by doing that, I don't have to borrow 100, do I? So if I was to tell you that the foreign deposit account, the US deposit account, is 10%. That's what they charge. Okay, or not what they charge, that's what they give me, 10%. So what do I have to do? I have to work out, well, how much do I need to borrow now? So how much I need to borrow now is $100 divided by 1.10. It's just one year, so just divided by 1.10 which is $91. So I need now $91. Think about it, $91, I'll get 10% deposit and rate for the year, and so I'll have $100 in my foreign deposit account at the end of the year, and that will make my payment. So I need 91 now. So then you've got to think to yourself, right, what will the bank do with this $91? Will it buy it off me, or will they sell it to me. I need $91 now. So the bank, I hope you agree, will sell. So the bank sells. Does the bank sell high or the bank sell low? Always low. So if I was to tell you the rate was uh, 2 to 2.2, 2, the bank will sell low. So we will take the $2. Okay, so, nine, so 91 divided by 2 is 45.5 pounds. But remember, I don't have 45.5 pounds. I'm going to borrow that 45.5 pounds in order uh, in order to do this. And so therefore, well, I'm going to borrow the $91, then exchange it. So this 45.5 is home borrowing rate. Okay, so if I was to tell you the home borrowing rate, uh, let's say that that is 8%, then the actual cost of this would be the 45.5 times by 1.08. So the actual cost is 49.14. And that's what you're looking for. You're looking for the cost of doing this, the cost of being able to make this exchange using the exchange rate now, meaning I'm going to have to borrow early put it in a foreign deposit account, but borrow early, pay interest for a year, 49.14. That's the total cost. Okay, so let me just go over it again. You work out what needs to be paid. You go all the way back to now, because you want to change the exchange rate now. Remember here, this is always foreign, and this is always home. If it's a payment, then the bank sells. And their bank always sells low. 
it'll be a foreign at the top here, a foreign deposit account rate you want to do, and here the home borrowing rate. If it was for six months, then just take six months, just literally divide the uh, deposit and borrowing rates by, by two, if it's six months, and obviously if it's three months, by four. But that's the, uh, this is the amount that's actually paid, this is the answer that you want. Okay, so that's how you do, you go backwards, you exchange, and you go there and you find your results, okay? Have a go at the examples then that we've given you in the workbook, and uh, Come back on the other side and we'll do foreign uh, money market hedges receipts. Same diagram, just different words.